So there we have the nicely laid out UVs applied to a low resolution model. And I've just demonstrated how to do it on two different shapes. So what you can do now is just follow that exact same procedure and work your way around the model, just doing it to each and every part. So let's just bring back everything else. Let's go back here and let's load in one that I've done earlier. So here we can see a fully UV'd model. If we open up the UV texture editor, we can just have a quick look at the UVs. At the moment, they're all over the place. That's the torso, the main bulk of the torso there. The upper arm, the lower arm, that lower leg, thigh section there, which we've just done. All these different sections here. And you can divide it up and apply the UVs how best suits you. Just make sure they're all nicely laid out and there's enough rooms, particularly enough room, sorry, particularly around these edges here where we have a bevel. If I turn off smooth mesh, you see that they're quite close together, these edges here. If I turn on smooth mesh, now we've got a nice, it spreads it out, but not the UVs don't always spread out as much, so check those edges as well. So if we select the whole model now, we can see as we've been working, our UV shells have started to overlap. They are not laid out properly and we can't currently paint on these. So what we need to do now is just decide how we're gonna lay these out on a texture page. The first thing you should do though, because we've got this checker map applied, is go through and try and make sure each of these numbers here is roughly the same size on each element. So this for example, the numbers on there maybe need to be a bit bigger, so like so. The numbers on here maybe need to be, or on here for example, maybe needs to be a little bit smaller. Keeping these the same size throughout the model means that the texture space will be spread evenly throughout the mesh. As you can imagine, if the UVs on this lamp here were huge, like so, once you laid out your UVs, that would have lots of texture space, even though when you look at the whole model, it doesn't need all that texture space. So first of all, go through lay out all the UV shells, well, scale all the UV shells, just so they're more uniform in size. And they sort of, they're all roughly the same shape. So now you need to think about how you're gonna lay out your texture page. And this sort of model, I would say, wouldn't benefit from having a single page. There are lots of little elements on this model and we're going to be adding in lots of details. So it makes sense for us to maybe spread this across two texture pages. So to make things easier, it would make sense to have the whole torso, if we can select that, nope, the whole torso model and these sort of hip sections here, all these on one texture page. And then we could have the limbs on a separate texture page. So then, now you know you're going to have those two on two different texture pages, you can go in and move these UV shells around so that they all fit. So again, I've already worked through this, so let's just load in one that I've already done. So there we have the torso, and that, ignore that there, that is just where we have these pipes, which I'm not going to UV, I'm just going to use a shader to, uh, to texture those. But what we have here is we have the torso all nicely laid out on one UV, on one texture page here. What we also have, if I move that, select that there, just so we're just selecting the, uh, the left limb. 
What we have there are the limbs also laid out on half a texture page here. Now the reason it's only on half is because later on I'm going to mirror this, these limbs across to form the other side, his right hand side. But then I'm also going to mirror those UVs across to this side here. So we're effectively, we'll have all four limbs on one texture page. And that will allow us to apply different textures to each side. Now to an object like this, you're probably going to have 90% of uh, each side is going to be the same. But you don't have necessarily want the same dirt, you don't want the same wear and tear. And if there's any sort of text which is going to be overlaid onto this, if you apply it to this arm, it's going to be mirrored on the other side. Now there are tricks to getting around that like using sort of uh, adding the text on as a polyplane with an alpha channel um, so that it doesn't get mirrored to the other side. But for this, because we want different wear and tear on each side, it's worth going in and just having the left and right limbs separated. So that, if I just select it all, so that is how we approach UV mapping this uh, space loader. As you can see, we've got our torso, which is ready here. We've got our limb, our limbs, our left arm and our left leg, which are ready on here. Again, once you've mirrored that, uh, those limbs across, you can mirror the UVs across here, and then you're good to go. So the next step, now we have the UVs ready and sorted, Rather than running straight into Photoshop and start painting up textures, we're going to stay in Maya for a while and we're just going to let Maya bake out a few starter textures for us. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video.